right before I get on stage, I'm always thinking about my life, the choices I've made, and everything, and my friends, and the people I love, and everything. It's excitement, it's a little bit of fear, but not a bad kind of fear, it's a good kind of fear. You know, it feels like you're riding some kind of wave. There might be something outside your window, but you just never know. On show days, I still get like really nervous and stuff like that, but it's it's what I love to do. Right before they turn the house lights off, my heart always starts starts beating quick, because you know I'm like, oh man, like what if I? F I always forget, like feel like I'm gonna forget the first notes. I just go up, and I'm just I'm just somebody. It's not even that I'm somebody else. I'm me. I'm just turned up to twelve. The best shows are a blur. The best ones are the ones where you're not even thinking about what's coming out of your mouth in a great way. You're just up there kind of whirling around and dropping occasionally and sweating and just being free. The feeling is very visceral on stage. You know, you definitely, it's very, you know, you definitely feel your heart pounding very quick. Playing the show isn't work. That to me, like that hour and a half or 45 minutes, or whatever, you're lucky enough to get on stage. Like that is, that is, that's the cherry on top, man. That's like, you would do that shit for free. When things are going great, time goes by really quickly. You know, it's almost like you get on stage and it's nothing but sweat and blood if you're playing it hard enough. And it's, it's crazy, time can go by really fast. That breath I've been holding in all day just finally exhales and I can, I don't know. It's like, you get to just be your complete, unabashed self, like you're not, you're not holding back anymore. I mean, to me, being up there is the definition of freedom. And rock music, to me, is the only uh, art form that can make you feel that freedom. You get these great moments where you, you see a kid out there, and it's like this weird connection. And they're like, oh shit, you're looking at me. And I'm like, oh dude, shit, you're looking at me. And you have this moment, you know, and like, wow, this is surreal. Like, you know, I wrote this song in my basement. And like, there's this song that it means as much as it means to me, it means to you, but in a different way. And that's, you know, one of those, those great moments when you realize how universal music is and how beautiful, uh, you know, what we're all doing is and how precious it is. There's certain songs that are always going to be connected to my wife now, simply because of the tour we did together and how much they, they, how much more of a meaning she gave me to fight again and keep doing it again. So there's so much of that. I remember sitting in a desert with her and writing "Nana," and so I think about that when I'm up there. I think about her saying, "No, take the risk. Don't take the money." I think about that. Go, 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 go.